enjoy this. So watch me suffer. And that's nice. I don't even have the stupid hole over here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, all right, well, it's just going to get done. It's just going to get zip-tied together. That That's the end of that. So there's this hole here to, that I put on the wrong side because I read the directions upside down initially. Got to love it. If I was building this kit, this would be done very, very differently because some of this is an absolute pain in the ass clusterfuck. See, like, I'm going to need clearance in there to install the low-voltage wiring. Let's see, how can we clean that up? up with a better with a longer zip tie. little zip ties are good for besides torturing my fingers. see a whole lot that we can do with this, but all right now there should be a grommet here but I have no idea what happened to it or where it went so let me see if I can find that I think that's it here sure looks like it so let's grab this and see if we can make it do what it's supposed to. Throw that back in that box. Yeah, that looks right. All right, so there's that. Let me see where that what runs through there. All right, so it comes with some Chinese torture, ta torture stuff that we can expand with a pen. So we're going to start on the low voltage wiring at this point. You're going to be kidding me. So the way I'm going to do this is this, and you guys may want to watch this because this is something that would be very irritating. Wow, really? So I think that's about right. And this runs out here. Maybe. stuff's for. There it goes. <laughs> I 
And then we need to keep this away from the high voltage wires, which it really seems like the best path is up top here. He has it running down below, but I, I just don't see that running this down at the bottom is going to do much for it. This is a place to invest one of my zip ties. And then we need to strip this off. And First, we need to secure this because this is moving around too much. Yeah, we'll go ahead and strip it first. Maybe with this instead. helps to put a pair of pliers on this. That way it can be a full Chinese finger trap. just lightly nick it or not so night lightly and usually if you split this it will peel just like that with minimal damage and at least it's pull rated or it wouldn't have a pull string in it that's nice. All right. So, Bell looks like a good suitable target. Now, if you let go of this, it will flip back there behind there where it will be difficult to get without cutting your hands. So, you want to just make sure you're real careful with this.
There we go. And we're just trying to keep this wire managed. All right. So let me see what the... Blue is for the top. So, we're going to cut this off right about there. More than half wire. Actually, going to move this to the floor. I'm sorry, that probably isn't any better for you, but it is a lot better for me. Or it was. Until I fumbled that. longer than it needs to be but that's that's okay okay so we're just gonna tuck that in there and then this is the top which is why we left it long. So blue is the bot is the top element. Dropping wires is worth five extra points, or dropping screws. our boost.
for our final act of excitement, we need to run this across all of those. So I'm going to try and do what I did earlier where I just scoot the insulation. Because this really should be sufficient for a 5 volt bond. It's carrying literally milliamps. And as always, you want to start your screws by hand. And I could have made this short, but I've got a lot of wire in this spot, so I went ahead and made that longer right there. Okay. And then that leaves us with just the right amount of wire there. And again, it's worth noting that I'm departing from the recommended instructions. It recommended little crimp on terminal connectors, and I don't like those. So at that point, everything is wired on this end. So I have some extra silicone. I'm going to go ahead and do a few things here. So I'm going to put a blob of it there. And it's just going to be to keep this where I want it. Ain't pretty, but it will work. So at this point, I'm just going to stop and let that cure overnight and then I will mount this the control up here and work on some more of this uh, when I have some time tomorrow or in the next few days. Thanks for watching. Uh, please be sure to check out the playlist that has the other videos and um, there are links to helpful things in the different descriptions in the videos.